Hey folks, Brian Rose here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I have an interesting video for you today. Um, a lot of people have a hard time choosing, do I ride my horse in a snaffle bit or do I ride my horse um, in a shank bit um, with, a chin, with a chin strap? And there's a lot of differences to your horse. And so the snaffle bit works off, is good for lateral stuff, bending the horse right and left, lateral flexions, um, anything that kind of re re requires you to pick up one rein at a time. The bridle is really best for helping your horse have vertical flexion because they feel the chin strap, whether you pick up a right rein or a left rein, they feel it evenly across the bottom of their jaw and they kind of tip their nose into it, okay? So we're just talking about soft feel here. So some people get, get upset when I talk about this and they say, well, that's not collection. I'm not saying it's collection. I'm just saying basic communication with your horse and what they understand uh, with, with the bridle. So we have a horse, um, I'm down here at Windy Hill Equine Rescue in Texas and uh, we have a horse, it's not a rescue horse, it's one of her personal horses that I'm going to be training. And she was riding him around the other day and he was um, really arguing with the snaffle, which is just pressure on two very specific points in the horse's mouth on the bars. And so she would pick up a feel and he would really just brace into it. Even though he knew to give to it, he, uh, he would still brace, his first response was to brace into it. In other words, it was a very hard pressure for him to accept. And so I suggested, let's go ahead and put him in a bridle and see how he does. And it was like magic. As soon as we put him in the bridle, he he just immediately uh, set up and had better flexion because it made more sense to him. It was much easier for him to give to that type of pressure. So even though a bridle introduces, um, and this was the one that we used on him, um, even though the bridle introduces leverage, you can see it activates the chin strap. This particular bridle is what I consider like a training bridle. It has a joint here in the middle and a swivel on the side. So you can kind of still pick up one rein at a time here and there. Um, it, that's why I call it a training bridle. Um, but, but it does, either what rein you pick up, it's gonna activate uh, the chin strap. Versus the same mouthpiece is on this snaffle. Um, so a snaffle is a non-leverage bit. Um, but you can see it has the exact same um, same mouthpiece. There's a slight rise here in the middle. Um, this one has a roller. Um, and this one, but is just direct pressure on the bars of their mouth or the cheeks when you ask a horse to bend. So the advantage of transitioning a horse to a bridle when I do this is when I'm going to start asking that horse for vertical flexion, soft, I call it soft feel. Um, when I'm going to start doing that more and more of the ride, that's when I make that transition. So I'm going to show you the horse zip. We're going to ride him in a snaffle first show you what his response is in the snaffle and then we're, we're without any camera magic we're going to switch to a bridle pick up the reins and we're going to see what his response is to both so hope you guys enjoy the video so i have to apologize here we uh, accidentally forgot to turn on our audio equipment and so even though i was talking and explaining this part um we didn't get the audio so i'm going to go ahead and do a voiceover for this so i wanted to show me mounting the horse so that you guys could see his first response to the feel i asked him in the bridle so i go ahead and pick him up you can see his first reaction is to brace up and you would think that maybe a rider has been on him pulling on him and um you know that he had had experience with a bad rider like well and that's just not the case he just really doesn't like the snaffle bit and um and so we, this is kind of what we had discovered with him uh in order for us to understand that maybe we should try something different and uh, so i just wanted to ride him around here and you just see me um you know uh pick up a feel as i'm riding him around and uh, you can see he gives here and then i release and i'm gonna do this multiple times uh, but what you'll see is that he his first response every time i pick up the reins is to go ahead and brace up into the bridle So it's not, it's not, it has nothing to do with me being against snaffles. I use snaffles all the time, nothing wrong with it. Um, it's just understanding snaffles are meant more for lateral use. And some horses do get along uh, with a snaffle bit fine for vertical flexion. But on average, most horses are going to find a little bit more comfort uh, with a leverage bit and yielding to the chin strap, uh, the curb strap versus um, the snaffle bit and having both pressure um, on it. So he just tends to argue with that. And uh, here I'm going to, I think this is the last time I ask him, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to step off of him, and we're going to go ahead and put a bridle on, and uh, we'll see that in the next clip. Now, just for uh, transparency here, this is his third time. And then that's when I decided, I said, well, instead of continuing to train him here, we should go ahead and we should show this to everybody just so you have a chance to see. Because he 
what you're going to see hopefully here is that he responds quite well to the bridle compared to the snaffle. Um, they're still learning and all that stuff. Um, he's had a couple of months of riding, and so he, he needs, you know, needs more training and that sort of thing. But um, I just wanted you to see the difference between how he feels in the snaffle versus what he thinks about the pressure um, in the uh, leverage bit here, the bridle. He's also quite a nice horse, huh? I'm excited to be able to bring him home and continue riding him. Make sure we got the chin strap adjusted. It's a hair loose, but it's okay. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do. Uh, you see, he went to brace, and then he's like, "Oh wait, I can give to that." So we'll just ride him around. We'll pick him up a couple times in the bridle. Let's just see how he responds. So right away, softer in my fingers. His first response is to shape up and give to it. Um, in the rider's hands, it's immediately obvious that he feels better, that he prefers the bridle. Now, bridles are meant to be rode one-handed, okay? so. Um, what we're testing today is you can see how his first response in the bridle is to give to it. It's just a better response. It's less pressure on the reins. It's just this first thought that he has. So because he's still new to the bridle, basically I'm going to keep the riding really simple. And I'm just, I like to focus on one variable at a time. And uh, the variable that I'm going to choose to focus on is just me picking up a feel and seeing if I can get his first response to be, uh, to, to, to just give, give his nose. Again, I got a few few people on here that like to argue and say, well, he's not collected. I'm not saying he's collected, but for my type my training program, this is part of part of it of just teaching them to understand that I can ask his nose to come in and have some vertical flexion while I'm riding here. You know, I'm not gonna ask a horse with, you know, 50 rides to to collect. Um, just asking him to to understand that pressure and bridle up. And so again, if we continue to riding in the snaffle, imagine how much that would be like beating our head against the wall if we said, well, we would never ride a horse in a bridle or a shank bit, you know, that's, that's the devil, <laughs> right? If, if we made rules, we would be missing an opportunity to use less pressure and have it mean more to our horse um, by riding um, in a shank bit uh, versus the snaffle. Same thing is true. Sometimes I'll go from a snaffle to a bosal or a hackamore and the horse responds better to that. If they're really chomping and they're anxious and they're really distracted by something in their mouth, sometimes I'll switch to a bosal. So there's different tools for different reasons. Um, try not to get uh, direct lined about there's only one tool for every job. You know, it's like there's a Phillips screwdriver, there's a flathead screwdriver. <laughs> there's, you know, there's just different tools that, that serve different purposes um, better. Um, and so, so, you know, sometimes I ask the horse to move off my spur. Sometimes I ask them to move off a stick. Sometimes I'll ride a horse without spurs. There's just different, different reasons for different things, um, but I really like how he feels, and we're gonna continue his training in the bridle, and it's gonna set him up for success. So hopefully in a few months, maybe we can give you guys an update video on uh, where Zip is at in his training, and um, I'm sure you guys will see more from him down the road. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you can see how we're just, just trying to not compare technique, but we're comparing one tool to the other one, and we're letting the horse um, tell us what he thinks about it, and uh, let, let that be our guide. So. All right, thank you guys for watching and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below.